let's start with Sangeeta. Sangeeta, let's just introduce yourself. Hey, sir, I am Sangeeta. I completed my inter uh, during uh, November 2014. Then, right. and then after that, I got married. Uh, then I uh, attended one more exam. I attended the classes. Then I got failed. Then again, now I converted to new syllabus. Now I am attending for GSP. Good Red, bad, CST, everything. Yes. Uh, Aravind? Hello, sir. I am Aravind. Uh, actually, I am a company secretary, sir. I have worked with uh, TVS Motors, actually. So, during my CS course and uh, inter CA, I have done GSP. This is a final. Mm -hmm. I have converted from old syllabus to new syllabus, and uh, I am planning to do a PhD. Vivek. Uh, hi, sir. I am Vivek uh, from Kerala. Okay, sir. I am doing a CA final from 2016. Yeah, I am in old syllabus. Anugraha is that Anugraha? Yes, sir. Abhinaya. Hi, sir. I'm Abhinaya. I'm working in an audit firm at now. Uh, I completed my intern in 2011, back, long back. And after that, I got married and discontinued to CA. And again, again now, I'm uh, going back to CA to complete it. Great, great. Anjana, Hi. Uh, you can call me Anjana. Uh, <laughs> I actually uh, completed my intern in 2014 now. And uh, right now, uh, final second group I'm writing. Uh, basically, uh, I have experience in the insurance industry for the past two years, but uh, never actually worked in any direct tax team. So, in a subject where I don't have any practical exposure. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, I'm Anugra. I'm going to write. Uh, Exam in uh, coming December 2021. Right. I've completed an uh, intern in uh, November 2019. Okay. I'm going to start IDT fresh. Great. Uh, almost four, four of you are new to GST, right? GST will be completely new to you. Except Anugraha. Anugraha would have studied the syllabus in inter. Actually, inter syllabus is same as a final. The first two volumes of the book is actually CA finance two volume of book. CA inter's book is actually an extension of final. Right. Don't worry, we will just go through in depth. With practical experiences, I'll just share you all those practical difficulties wherever we come across. <coughs> I would like to just give an overview of the subject first. Can you just see the screen? So can you just see the screen? See the final indirect factors. So there are two portions here. One is GST, other is customs and FTP. As per your institute, they have bifurcated it is 75 marks for GST and 25 marks for customs and FTP. Not a fixed one, it may increase or decrease, as you all know. 
sir. Customs and FTP is actually vast syllabus, but we can able to score easily. As far as far as your exam point of view, it will be very simple, direct, and we can just score easily in this area. We have to target this area for scoring. Actually, in fact, uh, even if you are well thorough in GST, actually it will make you to get exemption. Actually, customs and FTP. If you are going for like employment, if you are planning to go for an employment further, sir, this customs and FTP will play a major role. Basically, deals in depth in all imports, exports, actually, the trade policies which is followed with different countries, everything. Sir, this is an important chapter for your, like if you're going for employment, this part is also actually very important. Sir, coming to GST, what is, there is general understanding of GST. Are the basic concepts in GST, sir? Where there won't be any questions tested from this area. Next one is the life of GST, sir. This word you will be hearing now. New. We'll just go through in depth when we come across these chapters, right? Then charge of GST. Sir, how to charge? Whether we have to charge CGST, SGST, or IGST, whether we have to charge GST, all these things will come here. Next one is exemptions. Once again, an important chapter, if you are opting for practice, actually this is once again, an uh, important area where you have to have complete focus. Then, place of supply, time of supply, value of supply. Sir, all these three chapters are once again the lifeline of GST. We have to just have a complete understanding, clear understanding of what is place of supply, what is time of supply, what is value of supply in order to understand this GST as a whole. If you are thorough enough in definitions of GST, what is supply, what is charge of GST, and then what does this time, time of supply, place of supply, and value of supply, then that's it. Actually, GST is complete. All other chapters are, all other chapters, for example, registration. Once again, an important chapter. The returns and payments under GST. The next chapter is EVA bill debit notes, credit notes in GST. You see then accounts and records. Last area is miscellaneous provisions. Here includes all other your volume three chapters. First nine chapters are volume one and volume two, which is actually the base. Last chap last volume is actually completely like act based. You will be having appellate authorities. What is that? GST council recommendations committee. Everything, which is absolutely cut copy paste of an act which will be very limited for your examination purpose. Fine, fine, fine. Right. What you will be seeing in customs and FTP is also similarly 
classification of general understanding first one what is customs and what is ftp important thing is classification of duties what are the duties under customs what are the different types of duties under customs we will be just seeing important thing is valuation valuation under, under customs is actually an important area importation and exportation we will be just seeing just to understand what is customs if you understand about import and export it will be great and then last one is you will be having baggages and then stores postal articles all those things what is this sir if you are going abroad or if you are coming from abroad what is the maximum thing which you have to keep which are the things will be treated as new items which will be taxed all those things will be dealt here and then ftp foreign trade policy 2015 to 20 that this we will be seeing it fine 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 that this is what we are going to discuss in our session right all right today what we will do is i'll just say how the gst has been formed how the gst has been implemented the background of that gst sir you all know it has been implemented in july 17 right it was rolled out in 1st july 2017 when the journey of gst has started when the journey of gst has been started any idea any idea any idea right sir way around 2000 any day it was in the year 2000 our nda governments has introduced the gst atal vajpay atal bihari vajpay under his recommendations this gst was first planned to roll out under the year 2000 in which year 2000 it is, it is not that it has been implemented now it has been plan to implement in the year 2000 sir from that how it has been going in the year 2003 in the year 2003 they have formed a exclusive task force exclusive separate committee for this gst and then they have suggested the national nationwide gst to be implemented they have given a recommendation the task force has been implemented adu enna appadina fiscal responsibility and budget management the task force and then fiscal responsibility and task management in the force and what they have done they have recommended nationwide gst to be rolled out in india then in the year 2004 in which year in the year 2004 once again a strong recommendation for implementation of gst has been kept in place by the government by the then government 2067 in the financial year 2067 that is when they are presenting the budget for 2078 our honorable finance minister p chidambaram he has committed himself that he gst will roll out on 14 2010 itself he has committed that it will roll out on 14 2010 itself due to various political reasons and then instability it has been postponed it has been implemented in july 2017 sir it has undergone all those parliamentary procedures everything act act ke enna na Steps so it has gone through everything, and then it has come out 
on 1st July 2017. Pain, 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 pain. Right. Sir, what is the GST? Why GST? The next question is why GST? Right, sir, why direct tax? Somebody check at no cost, sir. Fine. Tax cut no. Sir, why? then why GST? Sir, whether it is a direct tax or an indir indirect tax? How the government is collecting this revenue? Sir, generally the GST is an indirect tax. Why, sir? Sir, this pecuniary burden, that is financial burden, the tax cut in order the yard have been get up. It is on the final consumer, right? The pecuniary burden, tax burden, yard may have been put It is on the final customer, the end users. Sir, all these indirect taxes. The burden will fall upon only on the end user, sir. Who is actually enjoying the benefit will pay the tax. Then that will be indirect taxes. Sir, direct tax is the difference. Obviously, sir, it will be progressive in nature. If you earn more, you pay more. That is actually direct tax. Indirect tax, nothing dealing with that, sir. If you are, if you are enjoying the product, pay the tax and then you enjoy. Sir, I can be from a normal background, I can be from a very high background, I can be from a very low background, nothing they are doing. Sir, your income doesn't match with the tax which you pay. Fine, fine, fine. So it is regressive in nature actually. Indirect taxes are regressive in nature. Direct tax will be progressive in nature. Sir, this GST is actually charged on the end users. Hence, it is an indirect tax. All right. Sir, when GST? Next question. When GST? Any idea, sir? Any idea? When GST? Sir, you would have gone to many places, right? In your daily life, restaurants, sir. Anywhere, anywhere. If for hotels or something like that. Then you would have gone for provisional stores. Right? Our day-to-day -day life activities, you would have seen bills with GST, right? Sir, why this GST? When this GST? When GST will be charged? Any idea? Any idea? Any idea? Sir, I want you to be interactive just to make the session active. Any idea? You just throw your thoughts. Let's start with Abhinaya. At the time of utilizing the service or uh, purchase of goods. Right, fine. Okay. Sir, if you are getting any services done, right, at the time you will be paying GST. That's what you are trying to say, right? Sir, if you are buying some goods, you will be paying this GST. Yes. Sir, any, any, any idea? Any idea? Any idea? Vivek? Sir, at the time of supply. Right. What is supply? The next question comes into picture, sir. This is a new word which you will be seeing in this GST. What is this? Supply. Right. I would like to recollect the old acts which are in place before that. GST. These are the acts which are prevailing before GST, right? Service tax. Sir, if we are buying or selling any goods, you will be paying VAT under earlier regime, right? If you are providing any services, then you will be paying service tax under earlier regime. Right, 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 right. Sir, under supply, under GST, you are doing both you will be paying GST, correct, sir? All this VAT, CST, everything has been subsumed and then GST has been formed. In Gelabatona, the act is very clear. It is purchase or sales. Right? The word is very clear. You know what is purchase, you know what is sale. 
sir service tax similarly when there is a services rendered when there is a service rendered you will be obviously forced to pay service tax all those words are clear actually here under gst what they have done they have used a broad term that is actually a wide ter terminology which covers everything right 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 which covers everything sir supply supply includes your purchase sales your rendering of services everything everything right sir we will be dealing in depth under section 7 is supply now as far as you are concerned if there is any supply of goods or services then gst is applicable correct sir clear 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 obviously the next question rising will be at like how how gst will be charged how this gst will be charged next question sir obviously what percentage will be given by the act you will be charging that percentage you will be collecting it from the end consumers you will be paying to the government this is how seller sells the goods to the buyer illa service provider provide services to the service receiver seller sells goods right sir see the tariff correct where at what rates these goods are taxable and then charge that value in the gst your invoice and then you collect the amount from the end consumer pay it to the government before the due date correct this is how gst will be charged and collected sir goods a portavariyum they have not said any specific classification they have referred directly to customs itself all those norm nomenclatures every references has been linked to customs duty itself because that customs duty acts entire list of goods which is being already populated there correct they have referred everything to that um for harmonized system of nomenclature sir common name of goods you will say one name of goods the person in europe will say some other name right in order to have an harmonized system of nomenclature our you have to go and refer your customs act tariff right that they have specifically included that hatches and codes everything the rates are actually defined under gst act itself you have to go and refer those rates just Bill, you have to charge yes. Right, 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 right. Sir, another important thing is whether it should be interstate or intrastate. Correct. Sir, if it is interstate, you have to charge CGST and SGST. sir if it is interstate that is between the states the service provider is actually in one state service receiver is actually in another state illa buyer is actually in another state seller is actually in another state appila irundanga appadina then you have to charge igst sir appo enna sir moon act iruka sir correct sir there are three acts it is not only one gst act it is actually cgst act sgst act IGST Act, Moon Act, etc. 2017. We will be just referring only one Act. All the things remain same there in other two Acts, right? We will be just referring to CGST Act in case of referring to intrastate, sir. With with respect to intrastate, we will be referring IGST provisions, right? I will be specifically saying. IGST provisions are not IGST provisions. Else, it will be only CGST. References will be only to CGST. Fine, fine, fine. The determining this interstate and intrastate is actually the charge of GST, right? And the charge. It is not actually as simple as we think. Sir, service provider is in one state, service receiver is in another state. Then we can just directly say IGST as a thing. That is not the case. it is not actually based on the persons involved right 
இட் இஸ் நாட் ஆக்சுவலி பேஸ்ட் ஆன் சர்வீஸ் ப்ரொவைடர் அண்ட் சர்வீஸ் ரிசீவர் அவங்க லொக்கேஷன்ஸ் மட்டும் இருந்தா போருமா அப்படின்னா நாட் நெசசரி சார் அனதர் இம்பார்ட்டன் திங் இஸ் வேர் த ப்ரொவிஷன் இஸ் அதாவது வேர் த ப்ரொவிஷன் ஆஃப் சர்வீஸ் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி ரெண்டர் தட் ஆல்சோ பிளேஸ் அன் இம்பார்ட்டன் ரோல் இன் ஜிஎஸ்டி சார் வாட் இஸ் திஸ் சிம்பிள் ஒன் பர்சன் இன் தமிழ்நாடு ரைட் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் த்ரூ யூ அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஒன் பர்சன் இஸ் ஸ்டேயிங் இன் தமிழ்நாடு ப்ரொவைடிங் இஸ் சர்வீசஸ் to another person in tamil nadu itself right a andra person irukanga he is a service provider b is also actually the service recipient one okay va a is providing services to b illa a is sending goods to b idhe mari vechuko actually bill is in the name of b actually services are provided to another person c who is in andhra right the next state bill is provided to one person you know this bill to ship to concept right bill to ship to sir billing will be done to one person actually goods will be delivered to the another person sir ipdi la irundha how the provisions acts everything this we will be seeing all those things sir i am just sending the goods on the instruction of b to a and c correct a engravanga c ki direct anupranga then sir it is two supply it is not only one supply it is actually two supply as per gst act it is supply between a to c and then it is supply between in fact a to b clear 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 then sir it these things when we go in depth to the act will be just seen why i am saying is it is not as simple as such we think interstate intrastate determination of interstate and intrastate is actually challenging the next part is actually like complaints procedure right sir you know what is gst when gst will be applicable how to charge gst everything sir once that you have collected the gst what you have to do once you have collected gst what you have to do Sir, I'll just throw a chart, right? This will be actually helpful for your practical scenarios. Sir, I am just taking seller's aspect now. Okay, wow. Everything seller or service provider's aspect, I'll, I'll just say what is the complaints to be followed. Sir, stage, stage by stage, I'll just say, first stage is you are supplying goods right next stage is invoices raised third stage is payment received from the party along with gst right you will be charging with your invoices with gst these are the three stages which you will be doing the seller will be doing right sir so how to reflect all these things in returns the complaints part and that he has to file necessary returns right to the government right sir all outward supplies what is his outward supplies simple that is nothing but sales all the sales details that to be recorded in gstr1 actual due date for this gstr1 is before 10th of every month sir april month now we are in just august month right sir september la irukom correct we are in september month august month la sales panna ellathiyum before september 10th you have to file your returns sir this is actually i am just saying the overview sir if quarterly returns moonu maasathukku once you have to just file before 10th of every month right 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 sir sales details kodutto what about the purchases the purchases details will be in gst r2 sir can this be can this gst r2 be filled by you having get or no sir it is just auto populated yes sir unak inward supply na innor thavanuk outward supply ah correct ah sir if it is inward supply for you that is if you are if, if you are purchasing somebody would have sold and the seller will be complaining this gstr1 and the gstr1 la irukra data 
will flow into GSTR2. Literally speaking, nobody will enter their purchases actually. Clear, 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 sir. Only sales details will be entered by the seller. Correct. Sir, purchases details will not be entered by him actually. It will get auto populated through the portal itself. Sir, the final thing is GSTR. Sir, netting off will be done here. How much outward supply of done? How much inward supply you have received? In excess of all this inward supply, whatever amount remains, you have to pay, sir. Correct, sir. Over and above what you have paid already, that alone you have to pay now, sir. Clear, clear, clear. This GSTR 3 is actually not active now. Correct, sir. Not yet implemented by the government yet three years till time. Sir, instead what they have done, they have done GSTR 3B. They have implemented a new form, GSTR 3B, where you will be forced to fill GSTR 1 details, other sales details, your input details, correct? You will be allowed to set up and then you will be asked to pay. Correct, 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 correct. The last thing is payment stage. Obviously, once you make the payment, you have to make payment only through online mode or you can just go to, to the over the counter, correct? Authorized banks are listed by the government here. You can just go there and then pay the amount under your GST. Fine, 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 fine. Right? Payment will be made through only online mode. Cash will not be entertained. No, you cannot just go to the department directly and then pay cash, right? Sir, it is only through online modes. Dedicated bank accounts are being opened by the government for this GST purpose. You have to remit only that. Correct? This is the general complaints which you have to do, sir. Sir, GSTR 1 in case of normal supplier, GSTR 4 in case of composite dealer, everything. Correct? The forms remain changed, form number remains changed, but the concept Visual wise, correct outward supply. There only you have to give outward supplies. All the inward supplies, sir. You are not allowed to feed any inward supply data here. It will be only auto generated, auto populated. There are two forms, two and then two A, one, one, one A, all those things. Everything is there. We will be just going in depth when we are going through the chapters, right? right. Sir, as far as purchaser is concerned. Correct, what he has to do? Somebody purchases, right? Sir, the purchaser return file for Nama. First question. For example, Sir Abhinaya, you are going to provisional store. Correct. Ni GST cars katti wangirga. You have paid some GST amount to the seller. Now, is there any onus for you to? File returns, correct? I've been pata. Whether are you doing anything like that? No. Correct, sir. Why? Why? Any reason? Sir, never panna. Everybody will be paying, right? Every individual, every citizen of India will be paying the like filing the returns, correct? Are they government? Is, is the intention of the government that way? No, sir. No. Sir, they are classifying two persons, sir. The purchaser here, they are classifying it as two persons. Who are they, sir? One, it is B to B. Whether he is a registered purchaser, Abhin Pagranga. Whether he is a registered person, Abhin Pagranga. Unregistered person. Sir, unregistered person, like Arna, all citizens of India, right? Whoever the general consumers, Aungala will be following here, sir. They are not required to file any returns, nothing like that, sir. Clear, 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 clear. This is actually, we will say B to C. Clear, 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 clear. Fine. Then, sir, the B2B person, he is actually filing the returns. He will be filing the returns. Sir, how many can sir? Sir, he will be purchaser at one angle, correct? He will be seller at another angle also. Correct? For business, he will be purchasing and selling. Once again, the same data flows. GSTR 1, he has to file. And the GSTR 1, who is filing, no. That will be flowing there in GSTR 2, sir. 
இந்த ஆட்டோ பாப்புலேட்டட் டேட்டா நத்திங் பட் நம்ம செல்லர் பர்ச்சேசர் பார்த்தோமா சார் இந்த பர்ச்சேசர் இஃப் இ ஃபைல்ஸ் ஜிஎஸ்டிஆர் ஒன் ப்ராப்பர்லி ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்லி இந்த செல்லருக்கு வந்துடும் சார் கரெக்டா இங்க அதாவது சிம்பிளா சொல்ல போனா செல்லர் சேல்ஸ் பண்ணாங்க அப்படின்னா ஆப்வியஸ்லி பர்ச்சேசஸ்ல இவனுக்கு வந்து ஜிஎஸ்டிஆர் டூல டேட்டா வந்துடும் ஓகேவா இட் இஸ் திஸ் வே சார் செல்லர் ஃபைல்ஸ் சேல்ஸ் ரிட்டர்ன்ஸ் கரெக்டா சேல்ஸ் டீடைல்ஸ் எல்லாம் ஃபில் பண்ணிட்டாங்க அப்படின்னா ஆப்வியஸ்லி இதான் பர்ச்சேசருக்கு இதான் பர்ச்சேசஸ் கரெக்டா ஜிஎஸ்டிஆர் டூல இட்ல கேட் ஆட்டோ பாப்புலேட்டட் Sir, he, he will be having his own sales, correct? Sir, in the GSTR one, he will be supplying to many persons. All these details will be populated here. And that is written. Once again, three. Not play, not in place. He have to come to GSTR 3B. And then, file your return. Sir, what do you think of due date? GSTR one, before 10th path. Sir, before 15th year. for gstr2 sir you have to accept auto population enter sir file panna mudiyum nothing sir you have to accept all the whatever credit available as on the date you will be eligible to take sir suppose yeah seller ulungave details fill panna sir na apana enna sir pandrathu sir you have to wait till your seller uploads sir returns correct ah return a file pandra varai you have to wait no other go correct ah only if the credit is here correct ah the gs file is returns properly only then only you can able to claim the credit illaya satham bodam gamunagam you have to stay quiet until he uploads a return sir the last part is actually gstr 3b before 20 20th sir actually okay this is actually when the act was implemented it was this way now at present stage it is 24 sir correct ah before 24th of every month 22nd or 24th as the case may be sir why 22 why 24 for certain stage they have fixed the date as 22 for certain stage they have fixed the date as 24 sir okay well, clear 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 sir all these were based on the recommendations of the gst council correct ah pinadi or department is there they are regularly reviewing all those things correct ah idella panile they are doing சார் இது मंथலி கம்ப்ளைன்ட்ஸ் கரெக்ட்டா சார் இதெல்லாம் मंथலி கம்ப்ளைன்ட்ஸ் मंथலி ஆர் குவார்ட்டலி அஸ் எ கேஸ் மீ சார் இஸ் தேர் எனி ஆனுவல் ரெக்வயர்மென்ட் ஃபார் யூ டு கம்ப்ளை அப்படிን பார்த்தா அப்படினா எஸ் தேர் இஸ் an annual complaints also சார் whether it is applicable for all அப்படி கேட்டா நோ இஃப் யுவர் டர்னோவர் இஸ் மோர் தென் 2 crores எவ்வளவு சார் If your turnover is more than two hundred lakhs or two crores, your annual complaints becomes much less. What is this annual complaint, sir? GSTR nine and GSTR nine C. Sir, nine gets the name Bina. That is annual return. All these consolidated sales. all these consolidated purchases during the financial year everything you have to disclose properly here whatever things you have done during the year you have to just populate here in the gstr9 sir suppose for example you have left out some sales illa you have left out one purchases during the year sir you can just file this gstr9 avail those things pay if any thing required correct us sir You can claim refund if any amount is due from the government. You can just do everything in this GSTR nine. Right? It is actually the seller or purchaser angle only, sir. Other the assessee has to file that return and then he has to do that. Sir, what is this GSTR nine C? This is nothing but GST audit, sir. Okay. Which has now been completely removed recently, correct? On one eight two thousand twenty twenty one, from one one eight twenty twenty one, there is no requirement for this GST audit. Other chartered accountants need not sign the GST things. Instead, what they have done is they have made it self declaration by the ASCII itself. So they themselves can declare. Forms are available. Only the thing is, they have removed the section 35. Section 35 enables a GST audit to be done by a practicing chartered accountant or past accountant, which has 
that been removed right uh, in the recent budget okay 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 fine all right sir these things will be dealt in depth in the respective chapters when you are going through returns accounts everything we will be just dealing it in depth sir if i what is this just to have a overview of uh, what is gsc what is the complaints which you have to take care everything just we are going to the another highlight highlight under this gsc what is this sir sir returns cannot be revised returns cannot be revised sir uh, under s12 act right that service tax everything sir you have option to revise the returns monthly return eppa vena ethana vaati vena revise pannalam the final revised return will be considered as original return right 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 as uh, similar to the income tax right first in your return file pannirala next you can revise adutha you can revise any time before the assessmenting is being done correct adu ore revise pannala adhe mari vat under csc ellathume sir any number of times you can revise the returns the final return before the assessment that will be considered as original return sir government did not have control over that sir yen revise pandra edhuk revise pandra correct ah unmele sales kaatrana kaatliya endha control me anga illa inge vachanga ellarkum complete control sir returns cannot be revised at all even your arithmetical accuracy what is it if you have done any arithmetical error fine do that's it no revision at all possible sir gstr once filed or what you once file panta abina that's it that is fine sir appa enna sir panna mudiyum what you can do you have option just to amend the sir filing correct ah you can just amend the thing you cannot revise sir what is that amend amending amending is nothing but correcting the end whatever mistakes you have done in the return that you can just do in the amendments right 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 only through amending the return like you can just change the figures else you cannot do sir adiliyo they have restricted certain things you cannot amend everything as such correct ah they have only left few columns to be amended correct ah sir ellame revise panna mudiyuma revise panna mudiyadhu eduthom gothom endra mari edhume panna mudiyadhu you have to just follow the rules correct sir for example i'll just say sir our sales bill potta 30th uh, uh, august 30 must august and i have just raised the bill we are in now 4th september correct sir 4th september and i Uh, just to assume that we are in 14th september sir we are filed our gstr 1 return we are just filed our gstr 1 return sir with the 31st date all the sales are go we have just disclosed everything now we are standing in say suppose uh, after the date of gstr 1 or sale say actually what we have done is we have missed out illati or sale extra sa kaadidom or sale aagala like we have done our sales have been paid on sir what you have to do you cannot touch that register one only in the next month's return eppa sir only in the next month return you can just amend sir not the current month only in the subsequent month you can amend as a highlight sir subsequent months amend pannumbodhu you can just call which return you want yes sir you can just call whichever return you want which month you want you can just call those things those fields which are to be altered you can just call for and then you can change fine 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 you should not use the word change actually you should use the word amend correct whatever error you have done you have just you can just rectify that sir another way of rectification is that in annual return you can just do in annual return also correct once you are filing this annual return gstr 9 for the financial year you can just do all those amendments also pain 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 but you have to properly route it through gstr1 directly sir if i am filling it in gstr9 whether it will be okay sir gstr9 is only consolidation of all gstr1 consol of actually gstr1 and 3b is gstr9 when you would have gone through your, your practical example sir gstr9 will be fully completely auto populated not even a single field need to be altered if you are filing your returns properly monthly returns if you are filing properly gstr 9 is a simplest form of return which can be done filed in 2 seconds within seconds that every field will be flowing directly there you can just have a overlook with your financiers 
sir, whether all figures are right or wrong, then we can just proceed with filing. Sir, if there is any mismatch with your books, the toughest return is the GIS channel. You have to have a proper reconciliation. That are why it goes up, why it comes down, everything you have to reconcile. These are the practical difficulties you will be facing in your articles or somewhere in your like audit experience, you will be just doing that. Right. Then highlight is this way, sir. You cannot revise, only amendment can be done. Annual return, everything is done. Sir. Then next one is invoicing pattern, sir. Invoice R when I have done a raise from Lama, sir. Is there any specific pattern? Yes, specific pattern has been defined in the act. Sir, you cannot just as if you can collect, you know, sorry. You cannot collect anything as such. Sir, if you say, suppose, when cut is there, now if our bill is summa raise money on a GST and go to Angla, sir, on the correct, sir, Angla. Yep, Angla, sir, only if I'm a registered person, I can collect GST from you. Mukimano is on a first. I have to be registered under the GST Act. Proper GST number Then only I am authorized to collect your GST from the customers. Sir, you would have gone through many shops, correct? They will be displaying the GST number on the um, what is it? Entrance or near the building counter, everything. The reason being is this way. Sir, they are indirectly saying that they are registered. They are authorized persons to collect taxes from you. They have displayed that. It is actually mandatory to display their GST numbers and their GST certificate in the shop, in their premises. The registered person of premises, he has to show showcase his GST number. That is, he registered in the city. He has to showcase his number. And then only he can just collect GST. Sir, Collect under the go and sir. There are important what to say fields which are to be mandatorily present in the invoice. Sir, invoice on a and never carry good lama, sir. Summa we only may now GST in Porto Kutta Kutta Lama, sir. Adina Kuruka Kuda. You, you can just demand from the seller, sir. These are the mandatory fields to be placed there, sir. And then the mandatory fields are no. usually in general invoices, right? And then a lot of no all these things, and then sir. Buyer name or no, seller name or no, actually seller in the invoice or no, seller name or no. Seller or that GST number should be there in invoice. If buyer is registered, his GST number is also we must. Invoice number should be there, date should be there. Correct, sir. Just to take an invoice or a proper invoice, a proper invoice at the par, say, suppose I may sound like that. Correct, all these things you just take that, take that, and then you just see. These are the mandatory fields, fields to be present there in your invoice. Mukema first highlight, you would have seen two or three things, different things, headings, correct, sir? One is bill of supply. In one, tax invoice. These are the two general terminologies. If you would have properly gone through these invoices, you will be seeing. What is this tax invoice, sir? Tax invoice is nothing but if you are supplying taxable goods and services, you have to raise tax invoice, sir. Sir, example, meaning that way, sir, I am just supplying some goods which are subject to GST. Then I have to go with tax invoice. Sir, what is this bill of supply? What is this bill of supply? If you are supplying exempted items, exempted goods, then you have to raise bill of supply, sir. It is not a tax invoice. You know? Invoice, there won't be any tax at all. You cannot call it as a tax invoice. It will be treated as bill of supply. Okay, clear, clear, clear. Bill of supply is nothing but there won't be any tax on that. You are just symbolically saying to the customer that is exempted items is being sold to you. Abiding as the disclosed control. Clear, clear, clear. Sir, these are the general things which you have gone through everywhere. This is actually the overview of GST. Sir, clear now what is GST, when GST, right? How to charge the GST, how to make the payment to the government, and then annual return complaints is everything. Clear, clear, clear. This is a overview of actually GST. 
I would like to start afresh tomorrow in next class. The supply definitions, everything clear, clear, clear. I don't want you to um, have a what to say. If we start from now, but we have a limited time. Sir, the supply is actually and the definition part of it. It is actually life of GST. If you are clear with the supply definition, time of supply, value of supply, and then place of supply, sir, you are you are thorough in GST. That's it. I will say. All other things can be referred. All other things can be go referred in act. Everything, sir. If you are thorough enough in these concepts, these these are the conceptual understanding um, required from your end under these three chapters, which will make you actually more confident um, in the forum. If you are very uh, very thorough in these areas, fine. First applicability of GST theory. No, if you have to know that, you have to know the definition of supply, sir. Then. If it is raising the invoice, correct, sir. sir. Raising the invoice, you have to know what is the time of the supply, correct. When the supply has happened under the terms, you can we have to raise the invoice on that date or before that date, sir. Then place of supply, place of supply. Or if you know only place of supply, then only CGST, SGST, or interstate or intrastate you will be able to know. Value of supply on what value of the charge GST you will know only if you are thorough enough in valuation, correct. If you are thorough enough in these areas, fine. The next part is ITC. And how to claim that ITC? Here actually it is very simple. In fact, under GST Act it is very simple. Under VAT, service tax, everything, it is complicated. Sir, VAT you will be paying VAT, you will be taking credit, right? Sir, service tax you will be paying send VAT, and then you will be taking credit. Correct, sir. As a company, you have to set up properly VAT against VAT, service tax against service tax. Things are being done. Sir, everything is GST. Simple. Whatever input is available, eligible for you, you can just take. That will be floated in this GST R2. Correct, sir. In the GST R2, it will be auto populated. Only thing which you have to see is ensure is whether it is eligible or ineligible. Whether it is an eligible purchase or ineligible purchase under the motor service tax program. Sir, what is this ineligible? That is very clearly defined in Act, sir, Section 17.5, block the credits. If you know only those things, fine. All others are eligible. Block the credit. What is that which is not eligible? They have disclosed clearly. As a motto, at the path, no, no, fine. All other things remain same. Clear, 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 clear. GST is actually very simple. Since it has been rolled out on a hassle environment, it looks. Actually, difficult. All these return patterns, everything looks complicated because of this urge implementation. Else, this is actually an cake walk for the manufacturers. Big, big concerns, sir. Before, what they have to do is they have to file multiple returns, sir. VAT they have to file separate returns. Service tax they have to file separate returns. Assessment when it comes to assessment. They have to go for VAT assessment separately, service tax assessment separately. There will be conflict between VAT service tax. Correct, sir. Example, best example is uh, works contract. All those things which includes both goods as well as supply of services. Correct, sir. Under, for example, best case is a canteen case. Sir, they will provide service as well as goods. Food is also being supplied there. Service is also being supplied there. Sir, they have confusion. There are lot of confusion prevailing under both acts. Who has to charge what percentage? VAT department will claim entire thing is sales. VAT sales. Service department will say entire thing is service. Right, sir? They themselves will say like sixty percent is food, forty percent is service. All these things they have. They themselves have said all these complications are available there in S two L Act. Here nothing, sir. In here. Simple logic. One logic which you have to keep is any amount received. You have to just check for whether GST is applicable for your clients or something. Any any bar if you are just going for an audit or something, sir. Any receipts is there. Any receipts. Well, being it in a professional way or like what is a business purpose or official personal purpose, everything, sir. You have to just analyze whether it is GST is applicable on those things or not. For example, I'll just say. Sir, a big company is there. Big company is there. Their main activity is sell, sell, selling of goods, right? Selling of goods. Their main product is suppose X is that product, 
sir, they are just selling that goods. In addition to that, in addition to that, what they are just doing, they are selling these old newspapers. Correct, sir. Yada ki poron. Scraps items. They are selling these scrap items. Correct, and the waste items which is being there in office, official things. In the land, na sir, whether those income selling of those newspapers. Correct, sir. Newspaper yada ki poron thala. It is common there. Correct, sir. Whether it will attract GST? Yes, it will attract GST. Right, 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 sir. Any receipt, any amount, if a company or any person is receiving, registered person is receiving, you have to analyze for the applicability of GST, whether GST will be applicable or not. Sir, we will be just going through that in next class. What is goods? What is services? Correct. What is supply of goods or services? Everything will be dealing in next class. Next class will be starting. Next class will be tomorrow. Sir, class timings will be six thirty sharp, sir. I'll just take till eight eight five max, not more than that. Sir, I'll just schedule it accordingly. I'll just take classes till eight eight ten, not more than that. Okay, sir. Not more than eight ten max at any time, sir. In general, in general, it will take uh, nearly hundred hours, sir. Our like projected time will be hundred hours of, for this GST as well as customs. We will just go through in depth in all those areas which is required for your exams as well as your like what is a practical knowledge purpose. I will just share you all my experiences too. We will just have an interactive session. Hope you have got some idea about this background of GST everything. Sir, this is actually the first chapter. What we have just seen is under two thousand we have started this GST committee. They have just explained everything in depth. In this first chapter of your book, there is a basic uh, thing. You can just have a overlook. All those things, all can, what is it? Legislative provisions, everything they will be uh, dealt. They they will be dealing in depth in your book, sir. Not necessary, absolutely for your exams. You know actually, sir, that GST is applicable to the whole of India, excluding Jammu and Kashmir. Before now, no nothing. Correct, sir. It is including of Jammu and Kashmir everything. Applicable from one seven, sir. Any amount. Another thing you will be having doubt, sir. GST, that are where are they charge from? Now VAT, CST, service tax, anything you can charge, nothing, sir. Only GST you can just charge. After one seven two thousand twenty seventeen, if you are raising any invoice, it should be only with GST, not under any S two L Act. All these acts has been subsumed, right? VAT, CST, service tax, everything has been subsumed. They have. Mm, Abolish those acts, correct, sir. It will not be in place anymore, sir. One, but with a limited purpose, only for the assessments. Everything only they will be keeping those acts, references only to those acts. Uh, if everything is completed, then there will be no relevance to those acts. Correct, sir. Only GST will be in place, right? Right, sir. This is how we will just go. Face by face in your next class. Hope you all enjoyed your class. It, it was informative. I would like to receive comments in the group. If any improvement required, like, um, can you able to just see the screen? What I am writing? Fine. Uh, is it visible? Right. Okay. Are you comfortable with this? Like handwriting, everything. What I am just speaking. Whether it is not or. Like overlapping everything, everything you find. Hope I understood. Hope I. Um, if any difficulty is there, you can just post me in the group or somewhere. You can just stop me. I'll just seek an alternative. Right? I'll just write slowly or I'll just uh, read. After writing everything, we can just see. Apart from that, is just how we'll just go about the classes. Is like I'll just throw you the concepts first. We will just deal all those concepts. Up front, we will be having notes if required. Subsequently, right? I'll just dictate if any definitions to be noted or for your understanding. We will be just sharing those things. As far as book is concerned, as already Krishnan sir told, sir, go with institute material. It is actually um, well drafted for self study with the explanations, with the, all this analysis, everything they have done. Uh, 
great. I'll just refer institute material as a base for you. Sir, if you are going through any other books also, fine. There, it is actually cut, copy, paste of institute material only. For additional problems, you can just go through the other uh, materials which I have referring. I will be just throwing in front of you for solving in the class. We will just have a um, detailed sessions of all those topics one by one when we are just going through the those sessions. Right? Fine. Sir, any any doubts or any 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 improvements required from my end? 